What's going on everybody? It's Aaron from Aaron's Anxiety, your personal guide through anxiety. <laughs> I could be a guide for anything and I could be a guide for anxiety. Well, we're just here to help each other out. So, uh, so as you know, I always feel like this, this uh, channel, I don't feel like it's my channel. Um, I feel like my beekeeping channel, I feel like that's my channel. This channel I feel like is, is like a, in my head, it just feels like an our channel. Um, and the only reason I say it is because we have a lot of um, people talking to me or talking to each other, touching bases, and uh, figuring a lot of stuff out. There's, there's so many people are helping each other just through this one channel. And I think that that's awesome. And you guys, like I keep saying, anxiety people are some of the best people you'll ever meet. Um, so I, and I thank you guys a lot for that. You guys have given me something that I truly look forward to making you guys videos and content and if I have something to say to you guys I always love to tell you because I know if it helps one person uh, we're gonna do great and I know that's a cliche thing to say but it's it's true so that being said um, I wanted to go over finances today and how when we fix our finances it lowers our stress which will lower our anxiety which lowers our depersonalization and everything will come full circle so, how do we do that? I'm going to take you through my steps of what I did personally um, to fix this. Um, and if you are one of these people where your finances are all in order and good and all that fun stuff, that's awesome. Love to hear it. Um, so this video may not be for you, but if you want to stick around, you might get a couple tips. It's always good to have information. And that being said, if you guys have any tips of what you guys do, please do not hesitate to put them in the comments because all you're going to do is be helping people. Um, so yeah, none of us are making any money here. This is all just friend to friend and we're trying to help each other out. See if we can all get through this. We're all on the same boat. So everybody grab an oar. We're going to get through it. Um, so what I did, when I, after I got through the thicket of the really heavy stuff that had me crippled mentally in my bed, when I finally, you know, you know, got the gumption up to go out and get into the world, um, the first thing I thought is, well, the first thing I do is work on myself. I need to go through my life and figure out what I'm not doing because apparently this is a sign and I need to take this as a sign that I need to change something in my life. Um, and so the first thing I did is, okay, let's figure out all the things that are causing me stress and I can reduce them. And it may not make my situation perfect, but it'll make it much better than what it was. So number one is what's gonna be the number one for a lot of people, and that is finances. So what I did is I knew financially I was not doing the appropriate things. Um, so what I ended up doing was, first and foremost, I started listening to um, important people that were doing a lot of important things. Um, there is, uh, you can listen to motivational people, which I always think is a good idea. It just, it kind of rocks your day sometimes when you're like, yes, you listen to these guys and they just making a lot of sense and just kind of put you in the, uh, in the mood to really, you know, jam out. So, but a lot of these guys, the guys I listen to, if you're interested, are a guy named Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N, Rohn. And then, uh, another guy is Les Brown. Both of these guys are super personable and they're, they're fun to listen to and they'll, they'll get you pumped. Um, they're all that Tony Robbins style. Um, Gary Vanderpuck, Vanderchuck, Vanderpuck, Vander, one of those. He's a good guy too. Um, there's plenty of them out there. Um, C.T. Fletcher, he's good too. Um, but yeah, so these people are just designed to put a little pep in your step. That being said, a lot of these guys are gonna lead you back to the same thing. Um, they're gonna lead you back to that you need to get a lot of your, your your life in order to be happy so and a lot of them are going to start with finances and a lot of them will recommend this book that I'm also going to recommend to you and it's called The Richest Man in Babylon um, it's a wonderful book if you're not into reading they also have it on YouTube you can listen to it uh, through your headphones or in your car and it's a it's a good read if you're if you like to read and it's fun to listen to if you just want to listen to a good story um, it's not mundane like here's how you do it there's five steps and some boring dude that's you know just going on and on about finances it they actually set it up in a story and you you're actually in the story with the characters and there's a lot of great things that they talk about 
highly recommend that and write that stuff down too I keep telling everybody always write stuff down um, it's, it's one it helps you remember things um, and it helps anchor it in your brain and you always have it on a, a separate piece of paper um, once you get a good budget going um, any kind of budget that you guys want and you guys feel like you're on a safe track um, the very first thing I always recommend to do especially for uh, stress and anxiety is you need to put away some amount of money so that you have some cushion cushion is what's gonna bring your stress and anxiety down and that's what the main thing we're focused on here so the best way to do that and this isn't me talking this is uh, what's the guy's name Dave Ramsey he's actually the one that told which I'm not really a big Dave Ramsey fan but the guy knows what he's talking about as far as finances go that's why he's helped so many people number one thing is to get something behind you money wise you need to have some cushion if right now the dog gets sick and has to be rushed into the vet emergency vet real quick can you afford to pay for that for them to pump his stomach or whatever they do which could be three five hundred dollars doesn't matter or the kid gets sick or car breaks down can you can you take that blow right now um, a lot of people can't um, so that being said very number one thing and it doesn't matter how long it takes you to do it you want to get in some kind of a timely matter um, you need to put away it's gonna sound like a lot a thousand dollars you need to put away a thousand dollars and I when I say you I mean if you are making twenty thousand dollars a year or if you're making two hundred thousand dollars a year if you don't have a thousand dollars put away you are gonna be a stressed out person um, something about having a thousand dollars sitting back in a place where you don't touch it just in case completely I mean it's like taking a weight off your shoulders that if anything goes wrong I can get through it and I'll be fine so how to do that budgeting always is going to be a great step um, but the easiest way to do it which is the way I did it and uh, that's get on your phone whether you have Apple or Droid it doesn't matter either go to the Apple Store or the the Play Store and there's an application and some of you may have heard of it already it's pretty popular and it's called Acorns Acorns A-C-O-R-N-S Acorns and that app is awesome it is a wonderful application and basically what it does is it will take okay the best way to describe it is you link it to your debit card and your information is all completely protected you don't have to worry about that um, you swipe it so say you buy a cup of coffee a cup of coffee costs you a dollar seventy five so you swipe your card the dollar seventy five comes out Acorns will say, okay, it was $1.75, let's round that up to the $2, we'll take that quarter that was left, rounding it up to the nearest dollar, and we'll put that into a separate account. And then with that, every time you swipe, it'll round it up to that next dollar, and just put whatever's left into that, that separate account. You would not believe how fast that stuff will build up. They also have options for uh, doubling your roundup, so if you want it to round to the nearest two dollars then it'll take the dollar 25 and put that into a second account that I was doing that for a while too that's you really watch it climb then um, so if you use your debit card quite a lot if you use it at all it's gonna help but if you use it quite a lot it's gonna you're it's gonna stack up fast and the most awesome part about that is you don't even re like you don't even realize it's gone it's just like some account that you're not it, it doesn't affect your life at all you're just building money um, and then they also have options for if you want to put in like a set amount a week. So I had it set up to where I would have 20 bucks pull once a week. So like say your payday is Friday. Or th yeah, Friday. So I would have it set up to where every Saturday it'll pull 20 bucks a week. And you can do bi-weekly or a month or however you want to do it. And it'll take that and then throw that into that account too. 20 bucks? If you did 20 bucks out of your paycheck... That's nothing. That <laughs> even if you're only getting paid 100, 120 bucks, 20 bucks is going to Taco Bell with your loved one one time and buying. Like, hey, let me buy lunch. 
that's 20 bucks. It's fast. You won't even know it's gone. Um, but it'll make a big difference in that account. After doing that, I was doing 20 bucks a month and I had my roundups on. By the end of the year, the first year, I had $2,500 in that account. That was pretty awesome. And at any point, if you actually really need access to that money, you can have it back. It's your money. They're not going to hold it from you. You don't have to do anything. Uh, there is a couple days where they have to, it has to, the bank and Acorns have to link up, but that's like three days or something like that. And then you get, and then it'll drop into your account, which is good. You want it to be a little bit of a delay because any of those spontaneous spur purchases, <clears throat> that's how your money goes away. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's how your money goes away really fast. So those, that little three days or whatever is good. So count on that. It will save you from spending that money super fast. It's all designed to help you get right on track. So Acorns, check it out. Um, so as you know, in case anybody's interested in the, the, the fun part of it, is if you ever wanted to get into stocks, bonds, real estate, anything like that, that's what it does with your money. So it's going to ask you, do you want to be uh, passive or aggressive? It's You have options for how aggressive you want to be in the stock market. Um, and it will it purchases what's called micro stocks. So it's purchasing a little bit of Apple, a little bit of uh, Starbucks, a little bit of Microsoft, a little bit of everything. And that makes a huge difference. And then it's also investing part of your money in real estate and it's investing part of your money in bonds. So that being said, you're, if one goes down, the other ones are gonna go up. So you're never really losing any money. If you're a younger person, I, or if, even if you're an older person, it doesn't matter. I always recommend going aggressive. That's what'll put more of your money in stocks. So you'll watch a little bit more fluctuation, um, but it, you're, you're gonna get more of a return. So that being said, Acorns is fantastic. Um, so um, if you wanna get, another tip is if you wanna get more into just the stocks part of it, um, Acorns is great if you don't really know anything about stocks. If you want to get into uh, stocks themselves and you really want to kind of play, um, you can download an app called Robinhood, and that will allow you to um, buy stocks. I think you can do stocks. I don't know if you can do bonds because I haven't tried, but you can also do cryptocurrencies, which is like Bitcoin or Dogecoin or any of those Litecoins or whatever. Um, I got a bunch in Dogecoin because it's super cheap. Um, but anyways, that you can be more specific, like, hey, I got $10, I want to buy $10 worth of Dogecoin, you know what I mean? Or I want to buy, I think, I think Coca-Cola is like 20 bucks or maybe 40 bucks. I want to buy a share in Coca-Cola. That's awesome. And a lot of these companies will give you little kickbacks too, where for money, for having your money in their company, they'll give you a little kickback when they do good. So... You have a couple options there. So, that being said, get a budget. Get a thousand dollars. You need that cushion. That's the number out of all these. This is the number one thing is that cushion. And if you want to use Acorns to do that, that's great. But just make sure that you're not going into it. I'm gonna curse. Don't go into it half-assed. Do it with intent and purpose that you need to get this stuff in order. And you got this. Um, so yeah. So budget. That $1,000, um, try not to spend that $1,000. And if you do take some out of it, put it right back ASAP. Uh, Acorns is a wonderful thing. Those two can be connected. And then Robinhood is a great thing. Um, and just eat better too. That's Me and my wife, we're going out to eat two or three times a day. We spent $300 a week. And that was just the two of us. $300 a week in fast food. Holy cow, I don't know if you could tell. That's a lot of money. Whereas if I make a 15 cent peanut butter and jelly sandwich, that's $300 I can be putting literally anywhere else that will, you know what I mean? And I love peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Could you tell that too? So um, I will put a link in the description below of my acorns. Um, you get referral codes. Um, if you wanna use it, great. Um, I haven't used that stuff in a long time as far as referral codes. Um, but I will put it down there. It's kind of an easy link to get started. Um, if you use my referral code, um, and this isn't through YouTube or them, this is just something that they offer. As soon as you get on, you're gonna have the same offer too. Um, if you use my link, 
uh, it will give you five bucks it'll give me five bucks for you using a meat recommending it to you and then if you get you know so say you get on you get your five bucks well then if you want to get your sister or brother on or whoever your dad whoever um, you they can use your account and then you can get five bucks if you want to get them on and then on top of that a few times a year they'll run a thing like they had one with me and I did it it's kind of a pain but it works um, so they said if you get 10 people to join acorns in the month of say February um, then we'll give you a thousand dollars so I was like all right let's do it you know I like competition and I love sales sales is awesome um, and that's basically all it is you're just pitching people um, I got 15 <laughs> I got 15 people to join family members friends stuff like that random people uh, and they gave me a thousand dollars they gave me actually more than that because they gave me the thousand dollars and then they gave me uh, five dollars for each of those people like I was gonna get normally it was sweet <laughs> and they just dropped it right into the account which was great and then that money went towards the other one so it's like that money's working for you too so it just collides so I'll leave that link down in the, if you guys want to use it great if not that's fine too that doesn't matter to me either way um, but you know if you want to get five bucks or if you know somebody with acorns get their five dollars you know what I mean you don't need to use mine but if there's free five bucks let's get the five bucks so all right if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff please comment down below I'd love to help you guys out any way I can you guys know that um, as always like comment subscribe insult all that fun stuff um, and I will see you guys in the next video